Yes, well, a 14-year-old boy is fighting for his life after he crashed into a bus stop. That was just at the weekend. And uh, day, just days after, YouTube presenter Emily Hartridge was sadly killed when her scooter collided with a lorry in London. Uh, joining us now, consumer journalist Harry Wallop, and he says this modern form of transport... You're not a fan. You're not a fan. Well, I, I think they're fascinating. You know, they're all over Europe. There are millions of these devices, but they are dangerous. There are all sorts of accidents being caused by them, you know, not just tragic deaths, yeah. more minor accidents. Yeah. Well, also joining us today, we have Itzik Benaron. He's uh, from Scootin Limited. That's his company. He says e-scooters help combat congestion and deserve more rights on the road. And here he is on one of his scooters. Welcome mm -hmm. to you, Itzik. Uh, come you. and take a seat. It's um, like I suppose the moving is, is fine. It's when they stop. Or, or, or controlling them, uh, we're now finding is, is a big problem. Harry has his concerns, but I think you could have a concern with a bike. You could have a concern with a skateboard as well. You could have a concern with a scooter, or, you know, any, any sort of motorbike, anything like that. Um, what, what's your take? First of all, I'm, today morning I wake up and I see the newspaper, which was a bit sad to see uh, people, when did people get killed? And, and I call him to the minister here. To, to start to give us some regulations, not to close the eyes and to say it's not exist, it's not exist. The future of transportation, it's micro-mobility. And the UK is the last one to start to take measures. Let's do it well. Let's give so us some moment, instructions not, how to do it. They're not Two brakes, lights, yeah. weight, how strong they are. No one gave a certificate, he said, you got just on Amazon, you buy yourself a dangerous vehicle, because I treat it as a vehicle, mm -hmm. And you just can ride on it. Yeah, I mean, the, at the moment, the police are turning a blind eye to them, uh, but they are. We're the last major European country where they are banned. As you say, both on pavements, because they're menaced to pedestrians. Everything's banned from the pavement, in fact, except uh, mobility scooters. But they're also banned on the roads because they are an electric vehicle and they're not considered roadworthy. But there is huge pressure from these massive American Silicon Valley corporations who have set up in the last, just in the last 18 months or so, with hiring schemes to come over to Britain. There's already a test bed at the Olympic Park and to change the law and to allow these things. And, it, and the law is almost certainly going to be changed. So we need to work out how to make them safer before they start flooding well, the roads you, of Britain. Yeah, as you said, uh, it's, they are becoming more and more popular. Uh, you, you sell them. How would you see that working? We already have lanes for cars, cycle lanes. Would electric scooters, e-scooters, work alongside cycles in cycle lanes or is there going to have to be another lane for e-scooters? I believe that the, the future of mobility, it will divide for four lanes. It will be pedestrians, people that walk. It will be up to 25 kilometres an hour, micro-mobility. It will be cars of a metre wide maximum and they will be the monsters, I call them, the 200, the two tonne that carry 80 kilos, yeah. they, will, they will burn from the street. It's obviously that we cannot carry uh, mm -hmm. the energy that we're spending to move two tonne yeah. to carry our 80 kilos, it's ridiculous. I come with a taxi with that, today Harry, with that 10... we should be getting yeah, rid I, of the monster vehicles I'm liking, and making yeah, room for the I'm liking scooters. how you're thinking. It's yeah. very radical and at least you are thinking because the, the problem is... There is no joined up policy on this or anything else. And the main evil in all of this is probably not these scooters. It's the amount of four, uh, four wheeled yeah. vehicles they are. I mean, the government today gave uh, Jaguar Land Rover a 500 million pound grant. Instead of putting more vehicles on the road, surely we should be putting less vehicles on the road. Well, to give credit, the Department for Transport is in the middle of a consultation about micro-mobility. Mm. Is it the future? Two years already. But the, mm. the issue is, is that e-scooters, as they currently stand, there's only, there's been, they're so new, there's been so little study into them. But in America, there has been a couple of studies, because they're very big in America, and in Austin, Texas, they analysed how many injuries were being caused, caused by e-scooters. And the rate of injury on an e-scooter is about 30 times higher than the rate of injury on a bicycle. Well, that's because that of is? speed, isn't is it? It's mostly because it's new. In fact, a third of the injuries were people riding them, riding them for the very first time. Because you just scan your, you scan your smartphone onto one of these hiring scooters, you jump on, you don't know what on earth you're I doing, and no one is wearing a helmet. Is that quali the quality the of quality. the scooters are very, very low. No one put them high. The, the brake systems and the lights and, and the helmet, you don't have helmets, so you need mm. to carry with you. So most of the people don't use them. I, I, I agree with you that... I, th I hope that the UK will be the leader like they've done in the early uh, 100th century, that the Jaguar was the first car, that we will be the leaders of the crime micro-mobility. Yeah. We design now mm -hmm. a new scooters, a new taxi bike, a new stuff that will 
replace the monster and will bring us quality because impact of two ton in anything, this is what's happened to Emily. She crashed with the semi-trailer. So it's not the bicycle is the problem. The problem is the yeah. cemetery at A30 in the and, city. And, you know, while we're talking about this, Harry, we're not talking about the amount of accidents there's been on bicycles, on scooters, in cars. Yeah. And it sort of deflects from this. And just, I just wonder, when you actually look at it, this, there aren't really that many accidents per head of these. No, I mean, there's been... Uh, we, we think there's been 11 in America. There's been about four or five in Europe. Uh, uh, was one in Madrid where a pedestrian, an elderly pedestrian, was just sent flying on a pavement and she died a couple of days later. Mm. So, yes, statistically, they are tiny, tiny numbers. And, of course, the, the, the least safe form mm -hmm. of transport, apart from flying to the moon, uh, per, per sort of mile travelled is a motorbike. Okay. You know, they're the really dangerous. Would thing. you... Could you see yourself buying one of these? Uh, not, not currently. Well, hey, I don't want to break the law. So, you know, I, I'm at risk of a big fine if I well, ride one in... if you go ride a park or whatever, you're OK. Would you buy one in the future if the law changed? Yeah, actually, if the law changed and I thought I could ride it safely and I'd have to have a helmet and I maybe had my own lane, I wouldn't want to, cycle, you know, ride it in traffic. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I, I think ecologically they seem to be a good idea. It's, it's I can give you a test going... drive just now. It's <laughs> well, a private lane. Sort of... You could have a lesson. <laughs> you could have a lesson it's, it's, it is interesting. It's very sad, the reason we're talking about it. Four things need to change. Which scooter we can ride, who allowed to ride them, with which license, number 16 with the private license, um, where are they supposed to be riding and who's supposed to control okay. them? Yeah. Because the police not will have okay. time to well, start to run after people. Gentlemen, thank you I'm both I'm sure we'll be talking much. about it again. Thank you very much. It's not thank going you. away. Thank you.